Hey YouTube, how's it going? Well, you know how it's going right now? Uh, not so great. Because while it is true that I am now well over three weeks smoke free, that's great. Yeehaw, yippee. Uh, it's. Uh, I'll tell you what, not only is it not getting easier, it's getting more and more difficult. It is still a major challenge anytime I go anywhere to do so without stopping to buy cigarettes. And there's another thing. The issue with the desire to lose weight is, well, frankly, it's becoming something of a really bad problem because I'm still gaining. My weigh-in yesterday morning was at 328.4 pounds. That is up 8 pounds from a few days before that. And something's got to give. That's all there is to it. This is, it's unacceptable being that heavy. It's terrible. Because it's like, you, you know, the, the thing that I hate about the cigarettes is the fact that it has made it so difficult for me to breathe. The problem is that having my weight that high is making it difficult to breathe because my whole chest abdomen area feels huge like a damn blimp you know I feel like a balloon that somebody inflated with 500,000 pounds of concrete and it's just ridiculous So the whole thing is basically, in order to keep myself distracted from smoking, I'm eating pretty much everything in sight. And I'm trying to restrict that to things that are actually better for me and have low calorie and low carb. and That works all fine and dandy until it gets to like sometime in the middle of the night and I'm ready to tear the walls apart. You know, I'm ready to like roll up some carpet and smoke it. You know. So, I don't know. I really don't know how I'm going to continue this. Because I feel very much like I'm right up against the limit. And here it is like 6.30 in the morning or some nonsense like that. And I've been up because I couldn't sleep anymore. And by the way, somebody suggested recently that I use melatonin as a, as a natural thing to solve sleep issues and yes the stuff does work but for me it works entirely too strong I have to be very careful using stuff like that and uh, so I kind of avoid it as much as I can besides it's another pill I don't like taking pills I take enough talk on bloody pills as it is Anyway, that's what's going on right now, and uh, at this rate, would the, 
I'm very likely to hit a subway just as soon as they open in the morning. Two or more footlongs sound really good right now, and I know I shouldn't eat that much at once, but it's likely it's not going to stop me because a lot of times the thought is in my head. I'm either going to get this or I'm going to get a pack of smokes or something like that, you know. And it's hard. It's hard going to the store and telling the lady no, not today, when they ask if I want cigarettes. And that's what I've been doing, just saying not today. You know, the whole one day at a time thing, you know. And... I don't know, but I feel a breaking point coming. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out of here.